Today we're going to talk about seven of my favorite photography quotes by Ansel Adams and I will also offer you a small explanation why I think these quotes are really interesting and I think that they offer a good guideline of what it means to be a photographer and what it means to take good photos. Quote number one, a true photograph need not to be explained nor can it be contained in words. This is a really good way of thinking about photography because I often see, especially on Facebook, large chunks of text explaining what uh, the f that photo should mean, what that photo should be about, what that photographer felt in that particular moment. And all that information is really great, but it's more like uh, a side talk. So when you have that photo um, exhibited in a place and someone uh, stumbles upon it and asks more about it, yes, it's nice to share the story behind it, but you should not uh, need to, to tell a story in order for the photo to be appreciated. And I've noticed that sometimes uh, the comments are more related to what that person said in the text rather the the photo. So it, it sometimes makes you wonder if we are photographing just with an excuse to I don't know express our thoughts or ideas or um, we should photograph for photography and we should create a photo that speaks by itself and simply you place it you don't need anything maybe a short title and that's it quote number two you don't take a photograph you make it yes you need to be at a certain moment uh, uh at a certain place and you need you need good light and uh, some people may say well if you have all the perfect conditions you just need to go click on the shutter it's not it's not completely true. Yes, your task is simplified when the perfect conditions are out there and you, when you are yourself uh, in those perfect conditions. But without you thinking and uh, trying to position yourself in the best way as possible and trying to find an interesting subject in all that is happening in front of your eyes and without you thinking of a composition, of, a, of an, uh, an exposure, of aperture settings, of focal length, without you trying to edit and uh, post-process that photo. So without all this, that photo doesn't exist. Tons of people go in the same place and return with crappy photos and few people return from the same place with good photos. It's because you make the photo, you think about it and you execute and then you have the photo. You don't just go there and click on whenever, whatever you see, wherever you are, okay, it's beautiful, just click. No, that's a snapshot. And usually when you go like this, when you go home, you have nothing. You take a look at the photo and you realize you have nothing because you didn't thought of, because you didn't, you didn't try to create something. Quote number three, there are no rules for good photographs. There are only good photographs. This quote reminds me of another quote by Cartier-Bresson, where he said that, I don't know how to take a, a good photo. If I would knew, I would take one per day. And it's also related to another quote that says that 12 good photos in a year, it's a good crop. And yes, there are no rules in creating good photos. And this is the most important thing that you need to realize. So at some point you will need to stop looking for photography techniques or photography editing techniques on the web. At some point, yes, there is a good period of time when you should do that. But there is a certain point when you stop and you realize that it's much more important to go out there to see what it's in front of you and try to develop your own way of photographing and do it in the best way as possible. As photographers, we train our eye, our brain, our entire being, but we, we never find the secret sauce, the holy grail. We never find though, those three or 10 or seven or 13 perfect rules that you can apply in every situation and you get a perfect photo. But what you get instead, after all those years of really going out and really photographing and really working, is to recognize a moment in time and a composition that is in front of you that has a chance to be a really good photo. Quote number four, there is nothing worse than a sharp image of a fuzzy concept. This quote relates to 
photos that are perfectly executed from a technical point but have nothing interesting to say about so there is a lack of subject there is a lack of composition or uh, the composition supports another subject or the person says this is my subject and it's a teeny teeny weeny element in the photo all basically you are looking at a at a photo that looks okay it's sharp it's perfectly exposed but it's about nothing quote number five Dodging and burning are steps to take care of mistakes God made in establishing tonal relationships. In some way, this quote, I think it's the way Ansel Adams says it's okay to edit. It's okay to post prices your photos. For those of, of you that are out there and you are thinking that your photo should come straight from the camera with no modifications, just go on YouTube and search Ansel Adams in the dark room or Clyde Butcher in the dark room and just see how they are influencing their images. Take a look, for example, at Moon over, Moonrise over Hernandez by Ansel Adams and take a look at the negative of that image and the developed print. And you will see some really big differences on how the, the that town is illuminated or how the the um, the sky is darkened how the clouds are having much more detail quote number six sometimes i do get to places just when god's ready to have somebody click the shutter this quote it's about hard work in the end and yes you may go out once a month and when you go out in, in, in a year, you have one month that you will always talk about when you got there and there was a storm coming and then there was a break in the clouds and then the sun is going down and yes, you were there at the perfect moment. But for me, this is a quote for about hard working when you go over and over again. And sometimes, just sometimes you are there right at the perfect moment. This last quote is actually my favorite quote of all time because it speaks not only about photography as a technical execution but of photography as a personal interpretation and that personal interpretation comes from who you are and what what state of mind you have at a certain point so this was it for today and i really hope that these seven quotes were uh, as inspirational to you as they are to me i hope that you like this video i hope that you will subscribe to this youtube channel if you are not already subscribed and until next time you'll keep photographing because it's the only way that you can get better thanks for watching sharing and commenting on my videos bye bye <music>